Imagine the world over 100,000 years ago. This is where our story begins in the Lower Paleolithic period, when the first human settlements appeared in what is now Austria. In this ancient world, early humans were carving out a life against the stunning backdrop of alpine valleys and Danube plains. They hunted, gathered, and lived in harmony with the land. The Lower Paleolithic period marked the dawn of human civilization in Austria, with the first signs of human habitation traced back to this era. As centuries passed, these hunter-gatherer cultures began to evolve. The Neolithic period marked a significant shift, as communities started to settle down and embrace farming. The fertile soils of the Danube Valley became the cradle of these early farming communities. This was the birth of a more settled lifestyle, where people began to cultivate the land, domesticate animals, and build permanent dwellings. But the landscape of Austria was destined to change once more with the arrival of a new power, the Romans. In 15 BC, the Roman Empire extended its reach into the region, establishing the province of Noricum. This brought about significant changes. Roman culture, law, and architecture began to permeate Austrian society. The Romans left an indelible mark on the land, with their roads, cities, and fortifications shaping the face of Austria. And yet, the course of history is never static. As the mighty Roman Empire began to crumble, new forces swept across the continent. Germanic tribes moved in, forever altering the cultural and political landscape of the region. These tribes would lay the groundwork for the Austria we know today. So, our journey begins with early human settlements, evolves with the advent of farming, is transformed by Roman influence, and finally, reshaped by Germanic tribes. This is the dawn of civilization in Austria, a saga of human endeavor, cultural exchange, and the relentless march of history. As the Roman Empire fell, Germanic tribes swept in, laying the groundwork for the Austria we know today. As we step into the Middle Ages, Austria's identity begins to take shape. In the 10th century, a significant political shift occurred as Austria emerged as the Margraviate of Austria, a frontier region designed to defend the empire's borders. Over time, this area grew in importance and power. And by the 12th century, Austria was elevated to the status of a duchy, a major player in the European political arena. Now, let's talk about two significant dynasties that would shape Austria's history, the Babenbergs and the Habsburgs. The Babenbergs were the first to rule, and under their leadership, Austria flourished. They expanded the territories, fostered trade, and established Vienna as a cultural hub. This period of prosperity lasted until the mid-13th century when the Babenberg line died out, and then, enter the Habsburgs. This powerful family, originally from Switzerland, seized the opportunity to claim the duchy in the late 13th century. Their rule ushered in a new era for Austria marked by further territorial expansion and increased political influence. The Habsburgs, through strategic marriages and diplomatic maneuvers, managed to extend their rule over a vast empire that included not only Austria but also kingdoms and territories across Europe. Under the Habsburgs, Austria's influence reached far and wide. They transformed Vienna into one of Europe's most important capitals, a beacon of culture, arts, and sciences that attracted the brightest minds of the time. They also shaped Austria's unique identity, blending various cultural influences from their diverse territories. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. The Middle Ages were a time of great change and conflict, and Austria was not immune to these challenges. From peasant revolts to religious upheavals, the Habsburgs had their share of trials, but through it all, they remained a dominant force, steering Austria through the tumultuous waters of the Middle Ages. The Habsburgs' rule would shape Austria's destiny for centuries to come. Fast forward to the 19th and 20th centuries, a time of great change and turmoil for Austria. Austria's path through history took a dramatic turn with the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire in the early 19th century. This marked the end of an era and the birth of the Austrian Empire under the rule of the Habsburg dynasty. The Austrian Empire, however, was relatively short-lived. By the mid-19th century, under the reign of Emperor Franz Joseph, Austria found itself sharing the limelight with Hungary in what came to be known as the Austro-Hungarian Empire. This dual monarchy was a unique political arrangement, where Austria and Hungary each had their own parliament, but shared a common monarch and foreign policy. The 20th century was a period of intense upheaval for Austria, as it was for much of Europe. The world wars brought devastation, drastically reshaping the political and social landscape of the country. 
Austria's role in these global conflicts was significant. It was, after all, the assassination of the Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand that sparked the First World War. The end of the Second World War saw Austria occupied by the Allied forces. The country was divided into four zones, controlled by the United States, Britain, France, and the Soviet Union. But this was not to be Austria's fate forever. In 1955 the Austrian State Treaty was signed granting the country full independence and neutrality. Austria in the wake of these dramatic events had to find its feet again in a rapidly changing world. It was a period of rebuilding and redefining as Austria transformed from a major European power to a small landlocked nation in the heart of Europe. So what did this mean for Austria? Well, it meant a shift in focus. Austria turned its attention to developing its cultural institutions, nurturing its rich musical heritage, and fostering a love for outdoor winter sports. Its media landscape evolved and the country carved a niche for itself as a hub of athletic excellence, particularly in alpine skiing. Austria, once a major power in Europe, had to redefine itself in the modern world. And redefine itself it did emerging from the ashes of its tumultuous past as a vibrant, culturally rich nation, standing proudly amidst the Alpine peaks. Today, Austria stands as a testament to its rich and complex history. Its position in the heart of Europe has allowed it to flourish as a prosperous and democratic nation. Austria's cultural contributions are as diverse as they are profound. Premier musical institutions like the Vienna Philharmonic, the Vienna State Opera, and the Vienna Boys Choir echo the country's deep-rooted love for music, while top-tier theaters like the Berg Theater showcase its passion for the dramatic arts. Museums of world-class caliber dot the landscape, preserving the narratives of times past and present. The country's love for outdoor winter sports is evident in the numerous ski areas and hiking trails in the Alps. A testament to Austria's athletic excellence, particularly in alpine skiing. In the realm of academia, Austria continues to make strides, as seen in the quality of its educational institutions and the intellectual prowess of its citizenry. The media landscape is vibrant with major newspapers and a state-owned broadcasting corporation keeping the Austrian populace informed and engaged. From the dawn of civilization to the present day, Austria's history is a story of resilience, reinvention and enduring cultural richness.